I'll be back with some water for you. Excellent. My name's Steven, so if you need anything, just let me know. Thank you. I like your enthusiasm, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> what a weird bar. And when you look at the bizarre concoction of the interior, it does confirm that three different people, the owners, of course, decorated it. Oh, right. Wow, that was quick. Now, how many's in the kitchen? How many people? Yeah. Uh, three. Three. There you go. Well, thank you. That smells lovely. Did you need more time to look at the menu, or did you um, No, I'll order now, actually. You know that. Um, um, I'll go for a uh, mussel Bangkok. All right. A mac and cheese lobster, please. And then I'll finish with a lobster roll. If you're looking for the most popular one, it'd be the Maine and the Connecticut. Do you know what? Bring me the three of them. All three? All right. Will do. Thank you so much. My name's Steven, so if you need anything, just let me know. <laughs> no, you are. Just making sure if you need anything, just yell. If anything's bad, I didn't do it, though, so I don't want to know. <laughs> What was your name? Michael? No. What? Your name? Ha, ah, very funny. Ha, <laughs> ah, you're a kidder. <laughs> when the Chef Ramsay joked around with me, I think it added that personal spark of, oh, you know, Chef Ramsay isn't this evil devil that everybody sees him as. Well, same top, first course. OK, then a lobster mac and cheese after that. OK. And he has a chowder right now. Mm. A little bit watery for chowder, huh? What a shame. Hello, Chef. How are you? Oh, very well indeed. Thank you. Are you you got Muscles Bangkok. I'm Greg. What the owners? Oh, what are the no, owners? No, no, I'm not the chef. Trust okay. me. No, you don't want to eat my food. What a way to come from. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank too, you. sir. So there's one more owner to come. Yes, yeah. Brian. So David, Brian, and Greg. Whew. OK, great. Lovely. <laughs> All <right>. Confusing. <laughs> uh, thank you. Go ahead. Burn your mouth off. My god. Fuck me, that's hot. Lobster mac and cheese. Oh, excellent. Lobster mac and cheese. Wow. Thank you. Speak of the devil, and I'll let you enjoy it. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm good. Yeah. Yourself? Yeah, very well indeed, thank you. Yeah. How did the three of you come to run a restaurant? Originally, David and I had the place uh, down on Avenue A, and then we decided to get out of there. Fascinating. Okay, I'm going to tuck into my uh, mac and cheese with lobster. Okay, thank you. Gets more and more complicated. I'm thinking we send out all three lobster rolls on separate plates, dressed just like they would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So far, he doesn't like much. What do you mean? Food-wise. The mussels can't taste of mussels because of stupid Thai curry Bangkok broth. Mac and cheese, it's chewy and rich. And the chowder, that watery. It's not how a seafood restaurant should run. This is not going to be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, this is the Connecticut, or the hot lobster roll. OK. Your, this is the main lobster roll. Main no. lobster roll. Whoops. Connecticut, okay. main, don't worry about that. And this is the New York City lobster roll. New York City. Yes. Connecticut, main. Gotcha. Already? Uh, that's great, thank you. All right, let's start off with CT. Drawn butter. <laughs> Horrible. Soaking wet bread. It's like eating a fucking wet diaper. So sorry, Connecticut, but I am moving on. Lobster's not seasoned. Lamb, what a shame. All right, so what did, what did you think of the main? Pretty piss poor, to be honest. I'm going to stop there. Thank you, Stephen. What's up? Well, he likes Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. That's his boy. Is he still here? Yeah, he's still upstairs. What's he doing? He's eating. He had uh, three lobster rolls, three different kinds. He had mac and cheese. He had um, Bangkok. David wants to know, is he paying for this? You should definitely give yeah, him a check. Yeah, give him a check. check. I can see that. That'll be fun, huh? God, it's grim in here. Sad and grim. <sighs> and a carpet that looks like it's had a 1,000 buffaloes walking all over it. Holy shit. Yep. I now have a loaded baked potato pizza. Lovely. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's the strangest pizza I've ever seen. I'm going to ask my beloved father to bless my food. Gentlemen, can I ask a quick favor? Yes. What's yes. that? Would you mind just blessing my food? Oh, yeah, oh would you? sure. Yeah? If you'd be so kind. Absolutely. Well, good and gracious God, we ask that you bless this food, bless Chef Gordon as he is about to receive it, that it may nourish him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, my God. What is all that on there? That is a ranch sauce. So they put a ranch dressing on the pizza? Yes. It's almost like sort of wallpaper paste. 
So the pizza sucks. Jake, I can see that right. David, can I help you? John, your pizza has bombs. To be honest, I, I've tasted the pizza, and it tasted good. I didn't see what he was talking about. The ribs going to be right, huh? What do you think? Yep. Perfect ribs. Finally, the ribs. No, thank you. You're welcome. I was hoping, maybe, just maybe, he'd like the ribs. Chef, I'm doing all right here. Who's responsible for the sauce? Is it chef's recipe, or? It's a generic sauce. It's a shame, because it just I destroys do. the flavor. Uh, they are embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, you've got cartilage in there, a mouthful of fat, grease on the outside. That's not even trimmed. Sad. Uh, I agree. I'm very embarrassed. A bit like the restaurant. Sad. Dude, we're serving an untrimmed rib. What do you want trimmed off it? The fat. All ribs have fat on them. John doesn't get it. He's ordering an inferior rib. He's trying to cut corners. I'm just so frustrated that I feel like banging my head against the wall. Stand up, sandwich, let's crunch fries. Thank you, Dwayne. Enjoy. Thank you. God, processed cheese that just like gluing. Pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, that's pulled straight out of the bin. Sweet, taste of nothing, and absolutely ghastly. Oh, dear. We have a pulled pork sandwich. Oh, um, sorry, excuse me. Forgive me, Father, but oh. they have sinned, and I, out of respect for you guys, you're not going to eat that, OK? OK. I don't want to go straight to hell. Oh, man. Forgive me. They have sinned. After saving the priests from an ungodly meal, dear, dear, Gordon's anxious to meet the creative minds responsible for the food. Jeff, Gordon, are you the chef? We don't really have a chef. How can we not have a chef? The recipes don't really change. Everything's prepared the same way. You seem to stand proud of that. The menu was designed to cut a lot of the labor out. Cut a lot of labor out? and serve shit. I finally am glad that I have somebody who agrees with me as far as the standards on the food. John doesn't listen to me. Hopefully, he'll listen to Gordon. I think at Midwest Cuisine, you think of the excitement in terms of, you know, a lovely braised rib, a fantastic sauce. The sauce was synthetic. We sell a lot of them. Is that an excuse to serve no. shit, because you sell a lot of them? Are you that lazy? Or you sell them, so fuck it, who cares? Well, I'm sorry, that attitude stinks. Can we have a chat as owners? Yes, somewhere. Sir. Yeah, We're together. Right now. Joe, ready. Hi, hi, hi. We're going to start with onion soup. OK. Some people might say, oh, French onion soup is French onion soup is French onion soup. But I think ours have a distinct, you know, presentation. Wow. Let's start off with zero out of 10 for presentation. Lovely. Ooh, greasy. Kate with cheese. Kate with bread. The only thing missing is the soup. What is that in there? That's absolutely tasteless. It tastes like I've just had the dregs from the dishwasher. Hardly any soup. That is shocking. That was very different. Did you like it? Um, uh, once you got rid of all the bread and the cheese and the gunk, it just okay. very, very bland. But I'll bypass, and hopefully the uh, lamb lollipop We'll be tasting. What does mess? Thank you. You're welcome. Fine dining. A fine mess. And he didn't like this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Off to a great start, ladies and gentlemen. What was that one? Once he got past all the, the gunk with the bread, he said the broth was just bland, and he's never experienced anything like that before. He's never experienced anything as amazing as that. We've gotten, you know, fairly good reviews here, and so I find it hard to believe that it's really as bad as he says. Say something, Chris. Get mad, Chris. I want Chris to get pissed. Uh, this is not going to go good, because if I can't get him with the French onion, I can't. I'm, nothing's going to be good. Wow. That is a big, big lollipop. My goodness me. It's an absolute nightmare to, to cut. Undercooked. It's hideous. Chris, no matter what anybody says, I still think you have the best onion soup and the best lamb. If he talks shit about the lamb, he's he's out of his mind. It's completely <laughs> ridiculous. That sauce there, that's hideous. It's like a caramel. It's sweet as anything. Three. Um, what did you say that was? 
A roasted garlic jam? God. Nick, would you have a little taste of that? It's like someone's put a topping of a granulated sugar caramel. Although Gordon didn't like the lamb, all the employees and all the customers think that that's our best dish. Very sweet, the sugar. Suddenly, the lamb is raw and it's obviously cold in the middle because it hasn't rested. OK, let's, uh, let's go to the quiche. Uh, darling, I, I, you've got to turn away now. I don't want to see you facing that shit any longer. Absolutely appalling. You say they ordered a rare, not raw. And the sauce is a spoonful of sugar. So, Chris, why, why did that go out like that? Where's my car keys? You got to go out there next time he says something. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. It's starting to sound like my wife now. You're cowering. Whatever, I don't know. Chris is, is definitely scared of somebody telling him his dishes aren't good enough. It frustrates me as a manager because he needs to put his foot down sometimes. Here, possibly my darling, they're going to be saving the best for last. Lovely. And what flavor quiche is it? It is mushroom and spinach. Mushroom and spinach. Yes. Lovely. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome. Damn. My quiche has collapsed. It's gone into like this sort of meltdown. It's almost like it's been left out of the refrigeration all day. And as for the salad, well, you do. Get really nervous when the ends of the salads are all black. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm getting yelled at already. And they sort of collapsed and went all sort of um, runny and soggy. I'm sorry. Huh? Happy Valentine, my darling. Thank you. Oh, okay. good. No. He cut into it, and it just collapsed, and it's all gooey inside. And... The customers mostly have good things to say, so it's a little shocking to hear someone say that almost everything that we served them was horrible. Bye, darling. OK, here we go. Hmm. Right. Nice Erica. to see you, darling. Erica, it's really important for me to see as much as possible. I would try this omelet here. It's oh, crabs. Just split it with a cake. It's, it yeah. looks like crap. Yeah. That's <laughs> a crap omelet. <laughs> I hope not. OK, I'll definitely take one of the uh, K omelets. Okay. Then I'm going to go after that for the uh, honey pecan salmon. OK. And then um, mm. good old-fashioned fish and chips. Oh, good. Yeah? Thanks, Alan. Excellent. You just sat there staring at me like some big muscle-haired meatball. Fuck me. Aaron. What? Why do you spell your crab with a K on the... Because it's not real. It's mock crab meat. I didn't want anybody to get the misconception. It's artificial. That's a guarantee. No complaints on this. Guaranteed? That's a pretty bold statement. Excellent. Thank you, my darling. Wow, look at the size of that. That's a lot of crab. And you haven't told me about the K yet. Oh, he said he wanted everybody to know that it wasn't real crab. It's artificial crab. So he spelled it with a K, so there was no misconception. So it's fake crab meat mm -hmm. in a seafood restaurant on the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me. Holy crap. Rubber, tasteless. That's going straight to the trash. Okay. Oh, my God. What's Our wrong? Omelet, he hated it. Why? The fake crab was the number one reason. The omelet didn't go over well. No. He doesn't like the crab in there. I, I've never, uh, that was already here. I didn't buy that stuff. I don't want to use frozen fish. It's not a product that I'm absolutely overly proud of. But at the same point, I'm held accountable for all the inventory that the owners have paid for. How's the food so far? Why are we serving fake crab in an omelet? I don't. He did that. You're the general manager. <laughs> Why, did you... Why are you laughing? I give the choice. Have you been drinking? No. The crab was shocking, embarrassing, and fake. It tasted disgusting. Have you tasted that crab? No, I'm extremely allergic to crab and shrimp, so no I can't even There's eat no it. crab in there. I understand, it's monkfish. Oh, my God. I'll let you finish your meal. General manager, my ass. I'm being blamed. He thinks that I should be allowing him to do that. Or letting him letting serve him. those types of Correct. dishes? Because it's fake crab. AJ is the general manager. He's supposed to oversee the food. And now I'm hoping and praying that Gordon says AJ is the one that's bleeding his business. OK, fish and chips. Certainly the best looking thing I've seen. Is it really rubbery? Is it frozen, the fish? I believe it's frozen. It is frozen. When you take a bite of that cod, it's almost like you've got a breaded condom in your mouth. Oof. He said it was rubbery, uh, too greasy, and it just said it tasted like a frozen cod, and obviously he hit it right on the button, so. 
This is the same recipe that we've used here forever. So I am for change. I want the change. Good. Wow. This one is the salmon. salmon. Look at that. Thank you, sweet. Damn. I think just so sweet. The dressing is like honey, and so much of it. Absolutely disgusting. Quite possibly one of the worst salmon dishes I've ever eaten. We hate it. I don't like it. No. I don't like anything. That's one man's opinion. It's a pretty successful opinion, though. <laughs> Come off that thing. <laughs> Looks like a cockatoo. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Three? Yeah. Not a problem. Hi, how are you? Is everything okay here so far? Good. You ready, honey? Oh, yeah. I would like to add some meat sauce. Meat sauce? Thank you, dear. Thank you. I don't know, baby, and here we go. What's up, there? Everyone's going to be uh, so, order roast potato. How can there be roast potatoes in the microwave? That's the program here. So it just happy once. Has he lost his fucking marbles? My dad feels like he just needs to push the food out real fast, you know? He wants to melt cheese in the microwave. But you can't take shortcuts like that. Well, it's horrible, you know? Food comes out quick. Is that normal? Really quick. Too yeah. quick, I think. And what would you like? I'll have the uh, ravioli florentine. Thank you. Sometimes salads, their soups, and then their main entree comes all at once. I would like the uh, gnocchi. You guys want to do the wings as well? Enjoy, okay? I always call it fast food Italian. Fast food Italian, yeah. yeah. You're not wrong there. The sauce is warm, but the inside is. It needs to be warmed up. Okay, honey. Hey, Brian, can you please warm this for me? Yeah. More crap. Don't want it, don't want a review. That was a ravioli with Alfredo. The pillows are hard. Why well, we have so much problem with that? I, I, I don't get it. Brian. Yes. The inside's a little bit on the cool side. OK. So I put it in the microwave. Unbelievable. Two things I can definitely confirm. The first thing is they're fast. Unfortunately, too fast for their own good. The second thing is when they're fast, they're sloppy. Over 12 dishes have come back, and this place is about to explode. Unbelievable. Is everything okay tonight? Um, I don't know if I like this too much. Do you want something else? It's a little bit too lemony. I'll be right there. Excuse me, I'm gonna have a reorder here a little too lemony. Maybe we should stick to one goddamn <laughs> recipe. Maybe mouth. we should. Put your ingredients on. A little bit of olive oil. What, just straight olive oil, or you want? Like a caramel mix. Did you put your salt, pepper, and garlic in here? Yes. Coming through, I got it. I was trying to ask you what you wanted to well, add. If I say calamari mix, you should know what I mean. I didn't hear calamari mix. That's what I said. To see my father not trust me was just getting downright frustrating. I don't know what else to show my father. This is supposed to be blackened. It wasn't blackened, and that's all fat. You need a new steak? What do they say? I need an old. Did you want another steak? Yes. OK, medium rare, blackened. Tim, you know what blackened means? Dad, I put it on a flat top, I put the Cajun seasoning on, I put it on there, and I cook both sides medium rare, blackened. Is that what blackened is? I do need another steak. Medium rare, blackened. OK, I get very it. Very blackened, very it. spicy. I get it. Whatever. Yeah. Where's the Cajun spice? I got it over here. Sam is like a new puppy that you have to constantly pay attention to him. This is a joke. He's now ready to run the business. Why don't we ever add towels in this line? There's a towel right there. I won't even wipe my there's ass towels, with it. There's towels right there. There's a towel down here. Joe did not like. What the hell? How's that steak on that redo? You want me to cook it? It doesn't come out of my ass, OK? All right. I hope it doesn't come out of your ass. Don't touch your steak. What the hell? Sam, get your ass out of there. Let's try to make him happy. Having exposed Melissa's apathy in the kitchen, I don't need this. I'm out of my lines. Gordon observes a dinner service to find out how her attitude is affecting the food. I know he's here to help, but it's still very nerve wracking having someone of his stature standing there staring at you. What are they do? The mushrooms. Is that how that goes out like that? Yes. Holy crap. Stuffed mushrooms. Thank you. Oh, so those mushrooms look sadder than the customer. Gordon said they're very sad mushrooms. 
Why? <laughs> when, just now? Actually, that's a recipe of my own. I made it myself. I was very disappointed that it wasn't presented to him the right way. People eat that shit? For you? What's my choice? Potato, rice, vegetables? Big potato, mashed potato, french fries, rice, little veggie. We used half instant, half with fresh potatoes. Why do they mix the powdered mashed potatoes with fresh mashed potatoes? That's a way of reusing the baked potatoes. So you don't even actually make fresh mashed potatoes? No. No. Do you want mashed potato, baked potato, french fries, rice, or vegetables? French fries. Don't burn them, please. OK. That's burnt. A little more done than usual, but other than that, yeah. Just an hour into dinner service, and the restaurant has run out of basic vegetables. We ran out of broccoli cauliflower. Yeah. And replaced them with an unusual substitute. Radishes. Radishes? Ooh, yes. Wow, I've never heard of that before. How are you, radishes? Honestly, Gordon? Of course. Not something I was, you know, expect with my steak. Gordon. You want some veg, right? Yeah, you know. Is there anything to keep him happy? Have we checked with Melissa? I, I want to eat the radishes either. So customers are complaining about no vegetables. Any broccoli, vegetable, carrots or cabbage? Veg. Ah, yeah, veg. Oh, stop. What is it? They're stalks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a frozen bag. That's why it's crap. Even though Melissa is managing to keep up with the orders, the customers are still not satisfied. No, I don't like it at all. This is unusual. It's not real crap. And Gordon needs Billy to finally understand that the food is Handlebar's biggest problem. Billy, customers are complaining about the food. You can't walk around oblivious to the fact that you think this is good. Yeah, but it's not bad in everybody's opinion. You can't take care of everybody's taste buds. Something that some people like, other people aren't going to like that at all. No one's got any control. And basics here that have just gone completely fucking wrong. If you accept it, everybody else has accepted it. And truthfully, you've accepted it. No, oh, absolutely not. I was kind of really disappointed. I, I knew we needed help. I didn't think we were that bad. I was quite skeptical about his intentions. Whatever. Really starting to dislike him. OK, tonight, take down that sign. <laughs> the early bird's finished. You don't need it. You're running at the restaurant, not a retirement home. Let's go. Now that the early bird menu is a thing of the past, Gordon introduces pasta and mozzarella specials to the dinner service. OK, spaghetti lobster. I don't want it flooded with a heavy coating of tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah and over here, homemade fresh mozzarella, yes, with caramelized red onions, escarole, bang. Beautiful. All right, two nice specials, yeah? OK, good. Hello, ladies. Going into dinner service, I'm real nervous. I got this buzz going on. We got a lot of things on the line here. So you want a mozzarella special? Yeah, you, you can bring them out with the appetizer. Yeah. Thank you. Two more specials. Taste, 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 yeah? Yeah, I don't care if it's a fucking sauce or a breadcrumb. You taste, yes? We're looking good, looking good, looking good. Come on. Mozzarella is fresh. They actually milk the cow themselves. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's delicious. It's delicious. Mike, spinach ravioli, lots of ravioli. Eliminating our early bird special is a lot more difficult. We have a lot more dishes to prepare for. I need the lobster special. We need to hurry up. Please. Let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. Anthony, look at me. Taste. You fucking taste. Yes, chef. I got to watch you. Yeah. I'm probably going to make a big sign. I think Anthony needs it saying you have to taste the food before it goes out, or I will kick his ass. OK, we're coming, we're coming. Here we go, here we go. Go. Mike, we got a side of linguine, garlic, and oil coming up. Nine and ten, right after another. It's busy. This guy's getting absolutely slammed. But he can move, huh? He's definitely got talent. But there's one thing this guy hasn't done is taste a thing. From a chef's point of view, how can you serve food out to the customers and not taste anything? Unacceptable. Beyond fucking belief. Now I'm locked out. While Anthony might not be tasting his food, the customers are. It's all right. And they're not impressed. It's all overcooked. Yes. Special tough. Right. Yeah, it's dry. It seems like it's been around. Not made fresh. Another, another fettuccine? Yes, please. He wants to look at the menu, so get him two menus. 
Anthony. Yes. Table 17. They're complaining yes. about their food, saying it's this is too dry. There's two more gentlemen said the same thing, so they're gonna look at something else. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Anthony, you gotta taste this food. Come on. Now we're playing games here. We're in the business over here. We're getting killed right now. Falling behind big time. It's an hour into dinner service, and a kitchen that is not used to being busy is starting to crumble. All right, it's 25 minutes away. By the time we go, I don't have to go to bed tonight. <laughs> Where's my potatoes? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Anthony was definitely getting his ass kicked tonight. Please get it out. Come on. The food was taking too long. People were scrambling because they were trying to rush. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Oh, fuck. Something's burning. Fire. Oh, my God. That's not good. Joe. Um, How is the steak? Geez. Yeah, it's well yeah, done. There's no red, there's nothing. It's a medium rare, if possible. Yeah. Solid and dry. And cheese. How much butter did you put in there? Um, I like some scampi with my butter. What's he trying to do? Kill me? No, but that's how he adds flavor, I guess. That adds that's flavor. His, that's his season. Scampi, rubbery, overcooked. The scampi's overcooked too? Yeah, rubbery, really hard and just. Just solid. Anywhere in the med, food doesn't look like this, you know that? Yeah. Bloody hell. Can you get me the uh, chef's out, please? Chef Ramsay wants to see everybody outside. Before I start talking about the dishes, what was the fighting going on there? He just likes to come back and argue about pretty much nothing. Actually, when we get a complaint, I like to tell them what's going on, and they can't take criticism. No, that's not it. Let you like to make it seem like talk. you're better at so everything why are you still than anybody if else. Talking? If I come back there and let them know, hey, this is dry, or hey, the hummus is messed no, up. No, we, we can accept that, but the fact that you come back there, oh, you guys can't cook, you guys are shit, it's you guys not, are that. Okay. I don't say it the first time. No, I say after the 13th table, right? like you say, like to say that we don't do after nothing After the 13th right. table, table that better. complains. Okay, okay. That's what I have every day. Can I start talking about my lunch? The combo plate, eggplant out of a can, hummus, bland, falafel, bland. Sam, you recommended lamb shank, but the bones were disintegrating. When the bones start disintegrating, that's three hours overcooked. I don't know what to tell you. Have you given up? Not yet. Top sirloin, it was miles away from medium rare. Mm. What are you oomming about? Shut up. Okay. No, no, I it's heard not, something earlier. nothing to do with you. Okay. What's wrong? He's making it seem like it's all my fault. He said, mm, mm, like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, they something know they've been messing up all day before you even walked in. So when you know he was here, can't you just like step up? You should have stepped up. I'm telling you guys what's okay, going on. He wasn't in up. that position today. Stop putting the blame on him. You guys were He's cooking. The cook? He's food. the one criticizing us. Okay. Even okay. if he was criticizing, you guys, you guys cooked food. the food. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. You can try it. Tell me what you think. I, I've never seen anything like this. Have you given up? Kind of. Kind of. Do you care? Not really. It shows you don't care. Shrimp, they came swimming in a bowl of butter, overcooked. Didn't you guys see it? It's because we were busy arguing. I could hear it. So could your diners. Yeah, they just get up and leave because of that. Wow. I'm going to get some fresh air. This is my dad's restaurant. I do as much as I can to help him. But being forced to be here every day, you know, it's kind of like making me feel like I don't want to care. So you're not too happy, huh? Not really. And you? What's your problem? I just graduated high school. So who yeah. want to run this business? Can you blame your brother? Yeah, raw food and, and overcooked meat. Is it my fault? No, you do everything perfect. Since you're Mr. Yeah. Perfect, I can make better food. Why don't you serve dinner tonight? Yeah, I should actually. Yeah, and yeah. I'll work outside. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't step up to the plate. Your job is to put food on the grill. Why don't you make it put your job? Put food on the grill Why and sit there and watch it cook. Why don't you make it, make it your job? Correctly? Make it your job. You don't know where to do better. Show me you can do better. Can you take it? Show me you can do better. Can you take it off right? Show me you can do better. I'm in the front cleaning tables and cleaning everything up. The kitchen is not my problem. Go ahead. That's your role. That's what I thought. Bad. You cannot step up to Some the plate. Cook, you are, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Some son, you are wanting to help. Shut the hell up. Nobody happy here. I don't know what the heck to do. 
And this is the... Uh, this is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He paid them this weekend, not Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No, <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working here eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. The then chef, you need to wear diapers. The... You shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better. I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a it's... fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You used the word fucking, yeah, so I brought I it did. back to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind Nino, of gross. We need to calm hey. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it. And I'm, I'm staring at it as well. To be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. I'd like to have a quick catch up with you, Mum, Karina, and your brother. Okay. Let's uh, let's go next door. Um, I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm depressed. Dish after dish was a disappointment. And then you rate the food. Ten out of ten, perfect. It's the best of time food I've ever had. I have a lot of friends that come here and eat. Your circle of friends isn't keeping the business afloat. Let's get that right. And let me tell you something. The chicken piccati. Chicken was furry and slimy. The meatball we discovered was made five freaking days ago. But for some bizarre reason, you're convincing yourself that everything's fine. <laughs> what you have proven to me is that you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything except cleaning. For the first 40 minutes of meeting you, all you told me about was the cleaning. You're in denial. You're refusing to listen to the negative feedback regarding the food, and yet you've got pictures of yourself cleaning the place. Hello? I didn't take those pictures. You were happy to show them to me. Well, you, you, you were indicating that I don't do anything. Cleaning is basic, like drinking water and breathing air. And that is not Clean management. management. Nina, there's the lady there that's got all the weight on her shoulders. And I don't know when you're thinking of getting responsible, but let me give you some piece of advice. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> um, I'm just saddened, I think, really, because it doesn't even feel like it's family run. Um, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm sorry. I really got the sense that he came in here and I'm his target. He's 100% right. You're the biggest problem here, and if mom could initiate your early retirement, it would be the best thing. Okay. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest about this. I can't stand seeing this place run like crap. Know. This fighting has to stop. Okay, well, then I can't come because I can't stand watching it. It's not Maybe just... you're taking nerve pills or okay. something. I don't know. I can't take it. I don't it. take nerve pills. Okay, but I Never. can't take it. Why are you yelling, yelling at your mother? Because you're saying the fighting like, like I come in here just to fight. No. I come in here, you two fighting. You need to talk. You yes. need to talk. Some Maybe we stop saying the you word fighting. We're just a couple cats and dogs. We, That's what it sounds like to me. Chef Ramsey, he said, this is not a family. And I know it's not a family. OK. Ciao, arrivederci. Wow. Catch of the day. Catch of the day. Oh, jeez. We have the sea bass, mm -hmm. the perch, and the bluegill. Uh, one thing I did need to ask you, uh, temperature preference for your elk medallions. I'd like to go mid-rare, please. All right. Thank you, You're welcome. The fish is dry, almost like it's been freezer burnt. And that one there, grease. Put your fork in there. It's just full of grease. Amy, rescue me. I just rubbery. And this one here, look, the perch, you go there, it's just full of grease. Very greasy. I don't know why you do a trio all the same with the same bread. I, agree. I, just, I, I just, agree. But the biggest disappointment is nothing tastes fresh. A catch of the day means fresh. But to me, okay, they cat. all taste frozen. Okay. Thanks, darling. Okay. 
It all tastes frozen. It does not taste fresh at all. Hey, Amy, this, set that down right now. Take this out. OK. This food's got to get out. Right. What, what, what's wrong? <laughs> they said it all tastes frozen. And it should have been done in different breadcrumbs. This how they fucking do it in Ohio. If you did it any other way, they wouldn't eat it in Ohio. Oh, please. Elk medallions on a grilled portobello mushroom. Wow. And, oh, these are not for eating. Thank you, madame. You're welcome. It's tough as old boots. This is incredible. Would you be, Would you mind? I would is not. That, yeah, please. That is dreadful. I can't even chew it. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not edible. Would you like to know how much we charge for that? This one? $35. $35? Yes, chef. Wow. Were you asking to taste that? OK. I'll be back. Thank you. Wow. He would like you to taste the elk. Very tough, chewy, the main item in the dish. He's dead wrong. That's aged elk. Elk is going to have a bite. It's going to have a chew. It's characteristic of it. It's never going to change. That is a tender piece of elk. Chef Ramsay does not know the bite of an elk, and I would like to go to his restaurant where he has elk. That fucking elk is tender. It's delicious. What I'm trying to accomplish is from farm to fork. This is how these items eat. I was surprised that he didn't get that. I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to say, you know what? At my expense, I'm going to go to your fucking restaurant, and you make me elk, and you show me how to make it. Joe said you are dead wrong. Dead wrong? Dead wrong. He had two pieces. He said, and I quote, that is a tender piece of elk. Wow. If you honestly thought that was tender, they can eat my running shoes, you know that. Uh, thanks for all your uh, insight. OK. Tell everyone to get ready for dinner. I'll, okay. I'll be back. OK. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, darling. And I'll talk to Joe after, yeah? OK. I'm going out for some fresh air. OK, In I'll fact, let him I'm know. going out. Uh, is it, where is, is there a local cafe nearby or? Uh, berries up. Berries. Yep. That's it. The dinky. I've heard of berries. See you. I saw that on Main Street. Thank you, Dave. Correct. Wow. Chef Ramsay said he is going to get something to eat, get some air, and he will be back for dinner. I wonder where he's going to go get something to eat that's so great. I'm going to go to a restaurant to get some food. You motherfucker. He's going to leave and go get something to eat? Good luck.